dear students welcome to solve this classes my name is ashmita and in today's class we are going to talk about the latest updated syllabus of wbcs mains optional paper of history in today's class we are going to discuss about the syllabus of the optional paper of history paper 2 in paper 1 uh, the syllabus we have already discussed in some previous class so in today's class we are going to discuss only the syllabus of paper 2 that is the second optional paper of history now candidates who all are appearing for the mains examination they have to choose two optional papers of the same subject now uh, whether you are choosing anthropology or history or geography or what whichever subject you are choosing you have to sit for two optional papers of the same subject and uh, therefore you need to know the latest syllabus and pattern of those exam papers so today we are going to discuss about the latest updated syllabus of this paper let's start the class let us start with the syllabus discussion of paper 2 we have modern india and the world uh, starting with unit a first thing which we have is european penetration and rise of british power in india which includes the early european settlements in india in the 17th and 18th centuries the anglo french rivalry then comes the british east india company and the bengal nawabs the eic as the sovereign ruler of bengal from uh, from plassey to uh, baksar grant of diwani then we have this uh, british relations with and subjugation of the other principal indian powers out uh, hyderabad maratha six and mysore then we have this indian economy under the british colonial rule impact of colonial rule on indian agrarian economy land revenue settlements permanent rotwari and mahalwari settlements then economic impact of revenue settlements commercialization and its consequences then there is this uh, rural indebtedness and growth of landless labor famine and poverty then uh, the changing nature of india's trade and industry under the colonial rule dislocation of traditional trade and commerce deindustrialization decline of village industries and town handicrafts railways growth of foreign capital and rise of modern industries then we have the section on indian society in transition cultural encounter and socio cultural changes which inco- includes the introduction of western education and modern ideas then reform movements uh, by raja ram mohan roy the brahmo samaj the young bengal vidya sagar arya samaj then uh, vivekananda and ram krishna mission then women's question and indian reformers then we have this uh, section on the growth of modern vernacular literature press and public opinion then growth and spread of scientific ideas the farisi and wahhabi movements the aligarh movement dioband school social reform movements in the late 19th and early 20th centuries uh they brought a overview another section is there which is based on the resistance to the british rule uh, which includes early uprisings against the british rule in the 18th and 19th centuries with special reference to bengal as bengal was the headquarters of the britishers and also eastern india then the revolt of 1857 genesis course character causes of its failure and its impact the act of 1858 and the establishment of the british raj then you have the section on the growth of nationalism from 1858 to 1918 factors leading to the birth of indian nationalism early political associations the foundation of the indian national congress in 1885 the safety valve thesis program and objectives of the early congress economic nationalism and drain theory the moderates and the extremists Uh, then there are uh, sections based on the partition of bengal in 1905 the swadeshi movement in bengal and other provinces the economic cultural and political aspects of the swadeshi movement then comes the gandhian era and uh, here you can expect questions based on the rise of gandhi the character of gandhian nationalism the role at satyagraha the khilafat movement the non cooperation movement the simon commission the nehru report and the round table Nehru report and round table conferences civil disobedience movement quit india movement 
the left the left within the congress and jawaharlal nehru subhash chandra bose and the ina the congress socialist party the communist party of india other left parties the peasant movement the working class the trade union movements women's organizations development of women issues and the role of women in the nationalist movement the people's movement in the princely states the post war upsurge uh, growth of muslim separatism the rise of the muslim league demand for pakistan hindu nationalism depressed classes and caste politics with special reference to the role of b r ambedkar communalism british policy partition and independence then you have the section on the constitutional developments uh, from 1773 to 1947 the regulating act uh, pits india act and the charter acts then the acts of 1861 and 19, 1892 the morley minto reforms of 1909 the montague uh, claims for reforms of the 1919 the government of india act of 1935 working of provincial uh, pro, uh, provincial ministries scripps mission wavell plan and cabinet mission act of indian independence in 1947 then comes the section based on the consolidation as a nation after 1947 framing of the indian constitution integration of princely states the question of national language the linguistic reorganization of states making of india's foreign policy non alignment and the third world india and her neighbors let us move over to unit b uh, what syllabus is there let us see uh, enlightenment and modern ideas major ideas of enlightenment and its impact french revolution and its aftermath from eight, uh, 1789 to 1815 the american war of independence uh, of the 1776 uh, year the american uh, civil war then you have the section on industrialization industrial revolution in, in england causes nature and impact industrialization in other countries usa germany russia japan and then there is a section on nationalism rise of nation states in europe italy and germany a section on imperialism colonialism and war is also given uh, capitalism is there imperialism scram scramble for colonies then origins and impact of the first world war making of the russian revolution and establishment of a socialist state next we have the section based on world history from 1919 to 1945 league of nations collective security rise of nazism and fascism germany italy and japan second world war its causes and consequences next you have the section on asia and africa after the second world war uh, the chinese revolution of 1949 nationalist movements and decolonization in south and southeast asia changes in africa egypt and south africa end of apartheid then cold war and global scenario origins and growth of cold war uno and global disputes uh, which includes the uh, disputes by korea congo cuban crisis then emergence of third world and nam uh, the last portion of this paper includes the collapse of the soviet union the disintegration of the soviet union causes and uh, consequences end of the cold war then political changes in eastern europe so that was all about uh, today's class and that was the entire syllabus of paper 2 if you want to prepare well for your examinations then definitely you need the guidance of a better mentor and a better coach and at solid sis classes we provide you with uh, these facilities here we provide you with live classes regular lectures uh, doubt clearing sessions crash course facilities scholarship facilities revision classes mock test uh, mock test facilities and here we also provide you with the solutions uh, of the previous year's question papers uh solutions to unsolved papers we make you practice the sample papers and uh, who all are getting enrolled in our classes we are going to provide those enrolled candidates with our pre recorded lectures portal access 
those are basically record live lectures which we record and then we put it in our portal so that even if the candidates face any kind of problem afterwards after the lecture gets over then they can view those lectures again and again and that portal access is available to the enrolled candidates 24 to 7 so whenever they want they can clear their doubts uh, and uh, let me tell you our study materials uh, solved study materials are available on amazon and flipkart also you can buy from there also and if you want to enroll in our classes for some other entrance exam preparation or some other competitive examination preparation then also you can join our classes because here our teachers teach for all kinds of competitive examinations and all kinds of entrance examinations now be it um, any kind of uh, university based entrance examination or any kind of all india based entrance examination or any kind of recruitment based uh, entrance examination for uh, employment based entrance uh, every kind of entrance examination uh, study material we provide and we also take regular classes and mock test facilities are there too. So if you want to enroll in our classes, you can check the description box below. Uh, in the description box below, you will find out that there uh, are our contact details given and also you will find a link. Now through that link, you can visit uh, Saurabh's classes website. It's, that's the official website. You can have a glimpse of our classes, how our classes run, how do we teach. And if you want to know more about our classes, definitely you can give us a call. And even if you want to ask us about any kind of entrance examination, then also you can give us a call and we will clear all your doubts. So that was all about our classes and that was all for today's class also. We are going to meet once again in our next classes.